I don't have the power. Now I have the power! Hey guys, welcome back to Demon Souls. As you can see, we finally got down to the uh, old hero here. Um, or just defeated him, I should say. Thanks to the help of uh, someone that decided to uh, give me some jolly cooperation. I will give her a super fucking awesome job. Is what I will rate it. Oh my god, I'm so happy I finally got through this part of the game. I can't even fucking tell you. So we got the hero, yeah, the hero demon's uh, soul. So, yeah, that's that's how that's done. We finally got through it. Um, don't worry, I'll definitely add more to this. I'm not gonna have like a fucking two minute episode. All right, guys, welcome back to some more demon souls. Um. Now that we got the old hero out of the way, there's another boss here on this level, and I believe it's the last boss, but we're just, we're going to go for it, we're going to try it out. Alright. Ascending from the sky came the flying butt cheek. His name? Alpha Duke. Sorry about that, totally forgot that I had uh, left my door open, and since I want to reduce as much chance of echo and all that crap, I had to go shut it real quick, and yeah, that's um, that's who we're facing, but there is a weapon here, especially if, again, you're not a, um, a ranged character or if you just don't have any ranged attacks. Uh, let's pick up the title first, because... Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so there's a weapon we can get just up ahead here. You can just see it glowing. So we're going to go grab it. Oh, shit. Rocks are in the way. And, yeah, there's a crystal lizard there, too, but I'm not taking that chance right now. Um, shit, son. I really should have thought that through. Um, let's see. Where? Oh, no, that's not the one. There we go. There we go. We got it. Cool. And then we're going to just... Find a place to take some cover. It should oh shit, can't quite get up there. This isn't Skyrim, you can't just run up anything you feel like. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, if you just if you get inside this little hut here, it'll keep you mostly protected from um, the stingrays and their shit. So, I'm just gonna heal quick. Um, I can't use arrows, but, you know, whatever. We'll trade this out for oh, Storm Ruler. Which we're basically just gonna wanna dual wield. Yeah, you can just lock onto him and take him out and shit. Come on. There we go. Really helps with these little fuckers. Because you can pretty much one hit them as you can see. Especially when you get a couple in a row there. Which you do get pretty good amount of uh, souls from. Come on. Hit them. Fuck you. There we go. And 
and there's the giant one. Yeah, he'll pretty much just come right towards you. So, yeah, the downfall of this weapon is it pretty much takes all of your fucking stamina, but it is extremely helpful otherwise, so. Now most of the uh, smaller stingrays are out of the way, we can just kind of come out here and have it be more one-on-one, -on -one, which is really nice and really helpful, so come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come and hit me, I want you to hit me. Oh, shit, he's... Okay. Well, it's a good thing attacking kind of neglects most of the damage. Yeah, that's a good solid hit. Let's restore a bit. And then we'll just keep attacking. That's right, motherfucker. So he'll come back around and, you know, just rinse repeat with him. You know, I find it so ironic that, for some reason, this is just one of the easiest bosses in the game, in my opinion. You know, compared to, um, you know, like the old hero just before him, whom, in my opinion, was very difficult and a hell of a lot tougher. Um, I mean, okay, with this guy, his little barrage of minions does add some difficulty, but, I mean, beyond that, just not all that much. So, we'll heal up again. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to dodge these. Okay, and try I did. Did not succeed, but I fucking tried. And he's almost dead. Pretty sure I'll be able to get him on the uh, next time he comes through. Yeah, not gonna be able to get him just yet. So, heal. And just, you know, just wait for him. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. I love you all. I don't have the power. Now I have the power! And there we go, guys. That's, that's how that's done. Oh can't tell you how much of a relief it is to finally just have all of World 4 done with. It's so nice. It feels so nice. Alright, so gonna go back to the Nexus, do what I gotta do there, and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Demon Souls. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to save Yuria the Witch. Um, yeah, I've already ran through the majority of all this, and there's a fat official through this level that you kill, and you get a set of keys from him. Well, what you do, and I'll show you this real quick. Um, okay, if you remember near the end, just before we actually got to the Tower Knight battle, there was a door here on the right that we couldn't go through because it was locked. Well, if you go through... Um, through all, all that, kill that official, get the um, key ring, you can come down here, kill the other fat official, get the rusty ring, <clears throat> and not only that, but there's also an NPC in prison down there that you can save, I believe it's uh, Bior. Um, so you end up saving him, and now we're just going to go through and we're going to save um, Yuri the Witch, which you're going to want to wait to do until... Again, you come back through here, you go around, and there's going to be a fat official who closes those gates, like, right up on the top of the staircase there, but after you kill him, you get the official's hat. And you're probably thinking, well, why the fuck does that matter? Well, you need to be quote-unquote disguised um, in order to enter the tower to get to Yuria the Witch. So, 
yeah, you get the hat from him and that's your disguise. In fact, I believe there's even a message in here that kind of gives you that hint, so... Huh? No, it must be gone. So, either way, we're just gonna go up in here. Head? Okay. Yeah, that's another hint for your disguise. You can hear the other fat official, and now he's lowering that staircase down for us because of our disguise. Okay, I don't think you need much more emphasis than that. And now, yeah, he has no idea what I'm about to do here, so, whoop, did not mean to do that. I thought I had the turpentine equipped. So, we will get rid of him. Okay, this weapon is far too slow. And since he uses fire, we will use a shield that blocks fire. Let's see. There we go, thanks. New moon grass. Da 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 dun. Talk to Yeria. What do you want? Oh, you don't want to know the answer to that. Brooks, no mercy. Do as you wish. There are no secrets here. Um. Do as you wish. There are no secrets here. Only. I think maybe I messed that up. Okay, you know what? I actually just had a crazy thought. Check this out. Maybe now that we've already infiltrated this shit, maybe if we just wear something else. Maybe that'll change the line of dialogue. <gasps> yes! You, you came to awesome! Save me. Yes, I'm here to save Thank you. you. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? With a little rest, Are I you sure you don't want a Snickers bar? Okay, so either way, guys, that's how you save Yuria. You go on ahead. I do not wish to be a dead weight. Oh. No. Oh, well, okay, so... Now, now I'll wrap this part up, and I'll see you guys at the boss. Alright guys, as you can see, we've made it quite a distance here. Um, we're actually about to fight the boss now. So, here we go. You can see him over there. Well, actually, that's the fat official, but whatever. Not worried about him. So. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh. Oh, what a backstabber. No, mommy, it hurts. It hurts so fierce. Okay. But if you're smart and you rescued um, Bior before this fight, he will actually come to help you, which will make this probably about 30% easier, I want to say. I... All right. Okay, so I want a dual wheel. Oh, shit. No, I want this sword. Then. Turpentine! Then we go to our late moon grass. Get off of him! What? No, I wasn't trying to hit Pior! I'm sorry! Look out! Oh shit, okay, so I'm gonna switch to the axe just to make sure I don't hit Bjor. I mean, doing a shit ton of less damage, but fuck. Oh shit! Okay. Should have uh, been smarter than to try that there, but whatever. Come on. Alright, we did it! Yeah! Alright, Bjor. Alright. That was fucking epic. Alright, guys, so that's. <laughs> that's how you defeat that guy. Always make sure that you help Bjor. Try not to hit him too much during that fight. So. Gonna get that, and then go back to the Nexus. I'm gonna call it a night at this point. So, I love you, my high and I'll see you guys next time. 
Hey guys, Iron Popcan here. I just wanted to say thank you all for watching our videos and supporting us. Um, I just want to do a quick shout out to um, one of my favorite places here in Salt St. Paul called Level Up Games. As you can see, you know they do have an official website. You can order from them. Um, I just want to do this, like you know, I'm not officially sponsored by them, but they have been awesome enough to you know hook me up with some stuff, and they have put you know flyers for our page all over their stores so I mean I really appreciate that and I want to you know help get them out there because they do they like have a great selection on video games from you know the new gen all the way back to like NES Atari and everything in between um, probably the biggest pop uh, figure collection I have ever laid my eyes upon I mean we got over 14 pops and I would say at least the vast majority at least three-fourths of them have come from them the very rare, very hard to find, as well as if you guys have seen um, the Hyena Den video, you also seen the um, Deadpool figurine, which is very rare, very hard to find, also from there, as well as that little Xbox figure. So, I mean, they are just, they're a great collection of gems, as you can see in the pictures here, and I'll show you some of the stuff. I mean, they're huge on trading card games as well, board games. They have tournaments almost every weekend, and just, that's only half of their store. I mean, you don't even see the other half where they have all the video games and just everything else. Um, comics, um, even today, like, they do this frequent thing where they actually have free comic book day, as you can see. Um, they have it going on today, so if any of you are in the St. Paul area and you just want to go check it out, yeah. I mean, you can get up to free, or uh, ten free comics at once. So just want to help them get their name out there I'll put a link down to their website um, and everything else you know their social media and all that stuff either way guys you know just I want to say thank you to them and thank you to all of you as well um, I really appreciate it um, I love you my hyenaniacs and I'll see you guys later